I'm a software developer at WorldTV Ventures. I'm going to be developing a one-to-one -one call demo uh, using Vanilla WebRTC. And this means that I'm not going to use Dropbox or Twilio. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the native API. Um, I'm going to be following this flow of two peers. There is basically two persons uh, sharing video <coughs> and audio. So let's say first what we need. We need to have a web server running over HTTPS. Um, for this demo, I'm going to use a Python server, but you can have running a Node.js or Ruby, whatever you want. Um, but remember that uh, HTTPS is very important because at least on Chrome, this is mandatory. Um, also, I'm going to use adapter.js, which is optional. Um, you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but I think it's, it's a good practice. Um, I'm also going to use a, a single server. Um, I'm going to use for this demo one that I have already deployed on Heroku. I'm not going to write the code now because I don't have the time, but um, it's based on Node.js and Socket.io. But don't worry, you can download the code from our public repository that is on GitHub. So if you want to follow me along, I'm going to start from the branch step zero. So to close this one, this one. Okay, so this is my index file and this is the code. So there is a lot of stuff there for styling, but let's focus on these two video elements. We have the first one for my local video and the second one is for the remote video, the PUB. So I have also a button for start the call. This one. And finally, I have three shadow scripts. The first one is socket.io. The second one is uh, adapter.js. And the last one is what I'm going to write on my code, right? OK, so let's open this file. Um, OK, I have I read a few things now. As you can see, I have an object with the name video call. And inside it, I have the connection to the Cinnamon server that is on Heroku. <coughs> um, so as you can see, the entry point is this function on the request media stream. So what I'm going to do first is using the, the first API that is get user media this way. Thank you. Get user media. So this API needs the constraints. That is basically constraints. That is basically the way to say that I want to share video or audio or both. Um, for this demo, I'm going to share only video because I want to avoid the, the feedback. So this is the first argument. And the second one is just a callback. Let's call it on my stream. So on media stream, it's going to receive as a parameter my local stream. That is my local video. So. What I'm going to do is just attach the stream to the first video element. Um, local video. That it was my video. And using the after shares, I can use source object to attach the stream, right? Also, I'm going to store locally um, this local stream the stream because I want to use it later ok so let's see this in action so Chrome is asking permissions for my camera 
going to allow. And this is me. Or if I did. Okay. Um, okay, so the situation is the following. We have the period A and the period B. So when the period A is going to click on this button, it's going to start the call and open the peer connection uh, and send the offer. So let's start from start call. As you can see, here is the button. And we have the, the function start call. So um, the first thing that we need is open a, free con a peer connection. So I'm going to create peer connection. And this function is going to use a peer connection. The, the API RTC your connection that receives as an argument the stone server or tone server. For this demo, I'm going to use just um, stone server and this stone object that is on top of this file is um, basically um, a stone server from Google. Um, actually, you can use it um, on your own app because it's free and public. So, once that I have my peer connection open, I'm going to add my local stream this way with the app stream using the peer connection. connection. Okay, so I have a local stream. So, um, the second thing that I'm going to do now that I have the peer connection open is create the offer. Um, peer connection, create offer. Um, the callback function is going to receive as a parameter my local description, that is the SDP. So the first thing that I want to do with this is attach it to my peer connection. This way, set local stream description. Thank you. Local description. Okay, so once I have it attached, I want to send the offer that is the offer is basically this, the, my, my local description. So I'm going to send it through the signaling server to the PUP this way with software. Okay, so now let's think of uh, the PUP. The PUP has to be listening to the signal, the signal offers. So we're going to create a new function to be missing all the signals that I'm going to send or receive, for example, the, the offer, the, the answer, the candidate. So I'm going to put it all together in the function. Let's call it signaling. Function. Okay. So is the socket again, I'm going to be listening the offer and the callback will be on offer and on offer will receive as a parameter the offer. So the PRB has to be opening first the, the peer connection. Let's reuse the same function. So now that I have the peer connection open, I can attach the remote stream. So the remote description, sorry. So set remote description will be a function that basically what it does is use the peer connection but 
first I'm going to uh, give the correct format to this offer using new HTTP. Let's go to here, HTTP. I'm going to use RTC session description to give the correct format. And now I can set it as a remote description. You know, SD. Okay. <coughs> so um, on this point, I have to create my answer. Remember that I'm your, your B. So this process is basically the same that the create offer function. Sorry, it's time. So it's basically the same. I'm going to receive my local description. Um, I can copy and paste these two lines and change this answer. So the PV is going to send through the single server the answer. So let's get back to the period A. The period A has to be listening to the signal, the answer. So on answer, I'm going to receive on this function, on this callback, the local description of the period B. <coughs> so there is the answer. So I have to do the same. I have to set it as a remote description. And so, so I'm reusing the same function that I used before. Okay, so um, we have almost done. I have to cover two more event handlers. There is basically on ice candidate. So, okay. Hello, hello, okay. So, on ice candidate, it's going to receive an event and inside this event it's the candidate so all I need to do is just send this candidate to the other peer so thanks thanks sorry okay so so okay event And, uh, okay, so the other peer has to be listening again to the signal candidate. So let's put a new line here. Candidate, and on candidate, candidate, it's called what? It's called what? Basically. Okay, so on as candidate, on candidate, it's going to receive as a parameter the candidate. So I have to do the same as before. I have to give the correct format to, to this object using the RTC as candidate this time. Yeah. Candidate. RTC as candidate. And now I have to attach this candidate to my prevention. Great. So um, the last event is on add stream. Add 
stream. This event handler is going to receive the stream from the other peer. So when this happens, we add the stream. I'm going to receive as a parameter the event that has inside the event that has inside the, the, the remote stream. So what I need to do now is just attach the stream to the second uh, video element. This way, remote video. Um, again, I'm going to use source object to attach the, the stream. Okay. So I'm going to call myself. I'm so no. Okay. Okay. As you can see, it's working. Thanks to God. Okay. So thanks to Daniel Felix for the, this beautiful UI. Well, as you can see, it's not so complex thanks to Word to see to build an app like this to share video and audio. I think the interesting thing about this is also use the data channel to share data. And also, you have to think how many users are able to run this kind of uh, application because they only need to have Firefox or Chrome and the future Safari. So, um, Okay, I'm going to show you, well, help me. Where is help me? Okay. Okay, help me is going to show you some examples of uh, some projects that we have been working on um, in World Ventures. So, well, thank you very much.